Hi everybody, Seven Miles Ministry again. This is Bob and Debbie Sherwin. And uh, this week we're, we're back and we're gonna start by uh, doing a little bit of reintroducing of ourselves, and we're gonna talk about emotional attunement and those types of things. Um, and, uh, but first off, we wanna just say that, um, just to reiterate um, that we are here just doing this as a ministry, answering God's call um, of what he put on our heart. Uh, many, many years ago um, to support marriages. Um, and we are not experts, we are not counselors, we're not giving any counseling advice of any kind. We're just sharing our experiences and hoping that the lessons we've learned can help other couples, so. This is not therapeutic. Not therapeutic in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> but anyway, so, Bob, today. Yep, so we're gonna talk, as I said, today's purpose <laughs> is emotional attunement. So we're gonna talk about several uh, Things we're going to talk about the relationship, um, relationship researcher John Gottman. John Gottman. So yes. John Gottman does not know Bob or I, and we do not know we him. We have never met him. No, but um, and and I can't say that we know everything about the man, but he is a relationship researcher, um, and I am like a big nerd when it comes to um, research and data and all of that. But um. He, d he has found a lot Science of... Science is important. It is. <laughs> but he has found a lot of um, information that is very practical and helpful for uh, couples and relationships. So not everything that he um, speaks about or has discovered, do we know what he has said or that we're saying we agree with. But the things that we're sharing with you, we have found to be very helpful for us. <laughs> so what's our first one we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about uh, the magic yeah. ratio. The magic ratio, yes. Magic ratio is five to one. And what um, John Gottman meant about that was for every negative, for every one negative feeling or interaction with your spouse, um, you need to combat that with five positives. Um, and what I found to be very interesting was, of course it makes sense as far as interactions, but I was surprised how much um, we discovered um, that that really does pertain to thoughts and feelings. So even if you may hold back a feeling that might be negative to your spouse, because um, you don't want to hurt their feelings and you just want to let that feeling ride, when you don't really address that um, within yourself and kind of capture that negative thought and change it into a positive, that does start to build um, some walls between you without you even knowing it. Resentment. Resentment. And so like, in all honesty, um, if let's say, not that this is the case, but if by chance I was upset that Bob maybe You're didn't do something around the house. Um, if I stew on that or just dwell on that, then that starts to become part of my belief system, truly. But if I capture that negative thought and turn that into a positive and, and recognize how much I appreciate that Bob did the Walmart run um, this week so I didn't have to do that after work, and just really just build that positive... It's more than a run. More than I, Well, it is. Especially <laughs> Not a run. Yeah, it's a but, marathon. <laughs> it's a Walmart marathon. It is nuts. <laughs> but that is um, our practical example of the five to one ratio that Gottman talks about. And so the purpose of the five to one ratio is it develops and grows the emotional bank account. Which is another concept of Dr. Gottman. Mm -hmm. And the emotional bank account is making positive statements and, po and keeping things positive. Um, so that when you face something negative, rather than there being animosity built up by focusing on the negative, that you, since you're focusing on the positive and appreciating each other and loving each other, that when you face something very tough, there's something that you, you are bonded with your, your spouse and your partner. You're bound, bonded to go through that because you're, you've built up this emotional bank account. You've built up this positivity around your marriage. Or your relationship and you built up built up one another mm -hmm. so that as you begin to go through that that very difficult time there's no animosity right there's no animosity there's no wall there's just we've done this before let's let's yeah you can through. weather the storm because right. otherwise you're starting at a disadvantage right. if you have built up so much negativity right. and as you are married a long time that can't happen and i think you know the, those positive positive affirmations, those, yeah. pos those positive deposits, they're not about manipulation. Mm -hmm. They're genuine, they're true. You and know? they're simple, they don't need to be anything major, right. but knowing that your partner really appreciates you, right. 
go a long way. Right. I, the example I was going to use is the episode of King of Queens. And um, if you don't know Kevin, yet, Bob loves old sitcoms, specifically King of Queens. So, go ahead. <laughs> well, I don't know if Kevin James would appreciate it as being a, a, a an old sitcom. But anyway, yes. Ken, Kevin James. Um, and one, of the funny, episodes, one of the episodes wanted to go to Las Vegas, and so he began to make positive, affirming statements to Carrie so that he could manipulate her. I was going to say, were they sincere? No, they were not sincere. No. Into approving his trip to Vegas with his friends. Um, and so. Are we advocating trips we to are, Vegas with friends? No, we're not advocating <laughs> Vegas. Uh, but what we are advocating for is the positive, yeah. positive. Uh, he did it the wrong way. He did it the wrong way. That's what I'm saying. I'm giving the example of the wrong way. <laughs> um, wow. And so, um, but making positive deposits, positive interactions, um, genuine comments of love, affirmation, um, and things you just appreciate about your spouse or your partner. And we shared these um, two pieces of information tonight because for us, those were some pretty big deal break of deal breakers for us because. For us, just that being aware of what you say and how it can affect your partner and affect the long-term positive um, interaction. So, so um, we're thankful that you were here tonight. Yes, thank you. Thankful that you you checked us out. And hopefully, please, we helped you a little bit. Right. Please check out our website, sevenmilesministry.org, our Facebook, um, our Instagram, Twitter, our Twitter. and um, also uh, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to talk to, talk about, I mean, please email us at Emmaus, E-M-M-A-U-S, sit the number seven miles at gmail.com. Deb, you wanna close us with prayer? Sure. Um, Father God, we thank you for this time together. We thank you for this ministry. We thank you for each and every person that is watching this video tonight or today. Um, and uh, we just thank you for the gift of love and marriage. And we thank you for um, just being supportive of each other, that we can all reach out to other couples to support us along our, our journey. We also pray for anybody that maybe isn't married yet or, um, or that you haven't called to um, the married life. We just pray that they also are learning um, some healthy um, interactions with, with people that are important to them as well. Um, and we just thank you for this time together. And um, we just pray your blessings on each person wherever they are in their journey. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. God bless.